See, this is what he was seeing, yeah. the brown out, and the leaves hadn't fall, totally fallen off yet. But I don't see anything that's half green. So the spray job worked good. Now look right here. He, 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 we didn't spray this big one. Yeah. And so by, while we were spraying these small ones, well, this over one we oversprayed and <coughs> we got it on it so the top is still alive, but that would have been above our six and a half foot uh, limit that we were spraying on. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna include it. All these uh, that you did spray, even these three right here, yeah, we got them all. I, I would say what you're seeing here is the typical look. We've got the brown out. Uh, the uh, the part of the leaf is left on that compound lagoon leaf, and uh, we've had a lot of wind, and it's been blowing the dead leaflets off. So. This time next year, we'll be able to come back in at one year, look at the crown down here and see if we have any re-sprouting. Re yeah, I wouldn't think we'd have any re-sprouting up in here, but we could from the root system because the goal again is to get root kill, not, not kill the top of the plant. Yeah. The, all these woody plants that you have in the county are all crown sprouters. And at our 45 day, I'm going to have 100% TK, okay. and I'm going to call the TK as Top Kill and the Brown Out, because we're seeing a little bit of both, so 100% on this one. Now, the, the other thing that we would be looking for with a, a lot of chemicals is do you see grass brown out underneath it? You see right here, around these, the, the grass is not affected by what we did. Doing an evaluation is important because when you go spend your money on something, you want to know if it's going to